Good morning guys and welcome back to, it's not morning anymore, it's 12.10. Good afternoon guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Pearl. This is the Regis family vlog. This is my husband Paul. This is our baby girl, Gracie. And my name is Pearl. And Caleb is in school. So guys, today has been an eventful day. We dropped off the kids this morning and we went to volunteer. We usually go to volunteer and it began. We went to volunteer this morning, you guys. We are helping out, sorting out the food and everything. And I got a call from Caleb. Mom, you forgot to give me my lunch money. I told him to remind me because we were busy this morning. We were late and we were rushing out of the house and so much traffic. We encountered so much traffic this morning. It was not even funny. But I forgot to give Caleb his lunch money. And whilst we are there helping, thank God today wasn't a long day um, at the place where we went to the volunteer. We were almost done. And I got this call, mom, I didn't get money for lunch. For lunch. You forgot to give it to me. So I'm like, oh my goodness. I am, you okay, Gracie? Gracie, you okay? What's the matter, Baba? You okay, Bobby? Good. She looked like she wanted to cry. Ah, you push your hand down your throat. I want to go meet her at the bathroom. Do we have enough time? Yeah. Can you hold this? So guys, I had to come to the back to meet Gracie there. And your hat is back to front, Baba. Hmm? How about we take it out for now? <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah, so we had to leave where we were. And then I think Gracie wanted me to come sit with her. Oh, I love you, Mama. <laughs> So we had to leave where we were and then go to Caleb's school. We had to buy food and buying food for Caleb was the easiest thing because it was already, um, il, il, what time Caleb called? It was almost 11 when Caleb called. So buying food for Caleb was easier and faster than bringing money for Caleb, for Caleb to go buy lunch. So we bought him lunch. He wanted chicken on chicken and fries so we bought him some chicken and fries and gave him a pop this is not an everyday thing but because of what was happening at the time this was the easiest and fastest thing to get for Caleb had I gone to um, the mall and buy real food for Caleb it would have taken so long so this for today is okay I don't usually do that I, I don't I don't usually do that although Caleb loves it but that's not something I practice I want to feed my kids healthy because we know good health is important. Then, on our way, <laughs> on our way to go bring food for Caleb, I'm getting a text from Gracie's teacher. Gracie had an accident at school. A whole clothes, everything is all messy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You had an accident at school. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So everything was messy. They cleaned her up, um, wondering if it's, you know. So I'm like, okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I love that school, I tell you guys. I love the staff there. They are really nice people. Very good school. I am blessed. We are very fortunate to have Gracie going to that school. This is a blessing. I'm happy with the school. But then I'm like, okay, Gracie had a punami. We gotta go get Gracie. We gotta give Gracie a bath because it's all over her body. We can't leave her there like this. So I sent her back a text and I told her, you know what? We're gonna come pick her up because I didn't tell her why. I said, we will come pick her up. We are on our way to pick her up. So we went, we dropped off the food for Caleb from there. Guys, I was so hungry. I, I was just so hungry. But thank God I had taken a bread from the food bank and I ate that bread on the way. I ate half of that bread, you guys. That's how hungry I was. A sweet bread. I ate half of that bread. 
and because I have not eat, I have not anything to eat, and I don't usually eat so early, and I don't know why I was so hungry. But yeah, so we just came from Gracie's school. We picked her up. My lovely little Gracie is right there. I love you, Gracie. No, of course I love you. <laughs> of course I love you. <laughs> Why are you playing with mommy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are you playing with mommy? <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this child so much. No, Baba. You know what she's doing? She's just pulling my hair. And the back is very short because I cut my hair. The back is very short. And last night, Gracie just grabbed two of those braids and Gracie just pulled them out. I'm like, Gracie, what are you doing? Some have already fallen off and you're just pulling again. So I have yet to fix the back, to redo the back. But yeah, so I'm hoping the rest of the day goes smooth. Um, we are heading home right now. We are going to go home and give Gracie a nice bath. Um, she's out of wipes at the school, so we have to bring some more. I forgot to ask how much diaper she have left. Um, not sure how much diaper she has left, so yeah. I think we're gonna have to buy a big thing of wipes because the ones we have are small. So I think we'll have to buy a big thing of wipes to send to the school because they use more wipes than diapers. So I will do that. Um, but yeah, this is how our day has begun, you guys. Um, this is like half of our day. So right now we're gonna go home. I have a video to finish editing. Thank you, Gracie. That doesn't go in the mouth, mommy. <laughs> no, my love. <laughs> Gracie! 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 This is my hair. You can't pull it, it hurts. Say it, say it, mama. Say it. You see that mouth? She wants to say something. It's okay. Why are you telling mommy bye? Why are you telling mommy bye? <laughs> anyway, oh, that hurts. Gracie, that's my hair. It's attached to my hair. So we are on our way home, you guys. Do we have anything to do on the road, Paul? Oh, we were supposed to buy meat at Costco. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Um, but we're gonna go home now. I have to finish editing a, editing a video. I am hoping to create enough content where I am able to upload a video every day. That would be ideal. This is what I want to do. But sometimes it's not possible. Um, but eventually I will get there. And for those of you who are watching our videos for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to our channel. Please consider subscribing to our channel and please like our video smash that like button at the bottom smash the like button so that our content can be um, pushed out to other viewers this is the way you guys can help us everyone who's watching please kindly smash the like button give it a like please comment for those of you with special need kids let us know how you deal with these challenges on a daily basis me my work is taking care of Gracie full-time. I'm a full-time caretaker. These days, my husband is not at work. Work is slow now. He's at home with me and he is helping me with the everyday stuff. And I am so grateful. I'm thankful to God that my husband is hands-on. He's helpful, you know, helping me out with everything that I have to do. This alone has helped me tremendously. Um, let me know how you guys deal with it. When the school calls, um, what do you do? Especially for those, I don't know if you're working, but if you're working, how do you handle it? How is your boss taking it? You know, your employer, how are they taking it? I find a lot of the time people are like, Pearl, why aren't you working? Why don't you get a job? And a lot of people don't understand with our circumstances at home, I am not able to get a job because look at today. This is like a typical day for me. You know, it, it doesn't happen with Caleb very often. You know but it happens very often with grace what do i do you know last week she she was sick 
she woke up she went to bed fine she woke up with her left eye one eye the left one very very red it was like really red and and with all that gunk in it you know i had to call the school and say grace will not be able to come this morning because of this you know i had to keep her for the rest of the week because she still had it the next day she woke up it was looking better but it was still pink what do, what do you do when you're working and these things are happening will your boss say okay i understand your situation or will they say no we can't we need somebody here who is able to be here all the time so sometimes i think sometimes they, it's coming from a good place but at the same time you have to think of the circumstances you have to think of what we are going through i don't think anybody will choose to just sit down home and not do anything i mean come on life is hard everything especially in this country you have to pay for everything how are you gonna pay for your rent how are you gonna pay for food how are you gonna with a child with special needs a medical a medically complex child the amount of money that you have to spend for this child how are you gonna I mean I'm fortunate enough to be in Canada where the government has so much but there are things that we have to to pay for out of pocket you know and my husband working has helped tremendously so me not being able to work I wish I could but I can't and this is what I said to people I cannot because of my daughter sometimes you have to go pick her up sometimes she wake up she's sick she goes to bed fine when she wakes up the next day she's not well you have to take care of her sometimes you have to monitor her and then you have to rush her to emerge then what I don't think any any employer is going to tolerate that you know because they themselves need the work to be done they need production and if I'm not able to be there and they don't know when I'm I'm able to be there and when I'm not able to be there that means I'm not reliable you know so sometimes we have to be mindful because sometimes it makes me feel bad and people will say but why do you feel bad that's the problem it makes me feel bad because sometimes you find you you hear it constantly well you can work and the more you try to explain to them the reasons you are not working the more they try to tell you yes you can right Baba one day by the grace of God I will be able to do it but for now I cannot leave when my husband was working I was doing I was helping him with, with work so yeah but I can't I honestly cannot and it's not because I don't want to to rest me leaving home and going to work is a mental break for you <laughs> right it, it helps it helps you leave the situation and then you are out there focusing on other things and then you come back home ready to start all over again but in my situation I don't have the time to leave I am so grateful that I am able to go out on a Monday morning and volunteer. You understand? It is such a nice thing to be able to go and give back to your community. Yes. It is very nice to be able to do that. And it's also a blessing for me, for me to be able to leave home, go there, try to help others. My mind is not on the situation at home. And then when I'm done, go pick up my kids, you know or do whatever i have to do and come back home i love to volunteer it 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 makes me feel good and i love it um and these these are the things that we do you know and i look forward to going to church when i go to church oh my lord i look forward to going to church and if i can't go to church then i feel so down these are the things that we do going to church fellowshipping with one another is a beautiful thing yes you love going to church too, don't you yeah we love to go to church you want to say hi to youtube say hi youtube hi yeah good girl don't put that in your mouth mama <laughs> hi gracie is so happy that we are going home yeah because she spent the last few days with us and this morning she had to go to, to school wasn't quite happy you know and then she had this accident Right, Gracie? Because she had an accident. Yeah? And then we went to take her. And we're going to take her home. We're going to give her a bath. And... Whoa. We're going to give her a bath. You know, make her all clean. Give her fresh clothes. And I'm going to edit. 
and yeah and then later on we have to go pick up Caleb so let's see what other events today has got for us hopefully nothing more <laughs> right Gracie nothing more is there more where that came from mama is there more <laughs> oh but I'm glad she went I'm really happy she went because lately for a while now Gracie has been dealing with constipation and it's it's been tough it's been tough you know yeah it's been tough but like i said to her to the staff i am sorry that they had to deal with it but i'm also happy that she went i'm happy that she had it so and it was they, they were so nice about it all you know i felt bad that they had to clean up and all of that but very nice very nice people i must say that they're very nice people and i love the school i love the staff very helpful very caring and down to earth people and and this is what i'm looking for if i'm gonna leave my child i'm looking for somebody that will i'm looking for caring hands i'm looking for good hearts you know so that when i leave my child there you know i know that my child is okay i don't have to worry is she okay are they taking good care of her and this is what this this helps it helps a lot to our new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to our channel please continue to um, watch our videos give it a like um, to our existing subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to view our videos please don't forget to comment in the comment section below tell me what you find what you think about this video what you like about this video and what else would you like to see from us thank you so much for watching until next time take care of yourselves guys bye